It's gonna melt your fuel tank. They're all this like crazy, you know, stuff. And it was like, you know, once we started doing it, we just kind of figured we would have problems and we just didn't. It's not the boogeyman everyone makes it out to be. There's a lot of things out there or misinformation about EZ5. What is some of the misinformation out there? Ethanol in itself really doesn't go bad. I mean, it's like, when's the last time you saw a bottle of vodka just like go bad? So the ethanol itself doesn't really go bad. You can have an E85, the thing about it is it is a blend of stuff. I mean, you can get bad gas and it gunks up. So really what you're looking at there is you have this blend of a bunch of different stuff and something's going wrong in there. So have people seen stuff get all plugged up? Yeah, it's not the ethanol though. It's you got some really crappy fuel. It's kind of the gist of that. So yeah, I mean, you can see some weird things happen. The only thing that like ethanol can do itself is it can cause some corrosion on bare aluminum. It's not like rotting rust. It will get like a little kind of a white powder like looking stuff on it, but that can only happen if there's air present. When you see stuff gunk up from sitting around for a long time, it's basically like, it was gonna gunk up kind of anyways, basically, yeah. is the gist of it. I mean, we just finished up a barrel of fuel that was like seven years old, it was fine. There was no water that got into it. And you can actually have quite a bit of water in ethanol before it causes an issue. Like in Brazil, they actually run 4% water content on purpose in their fuel. So yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, I mean, people see some weird stuff happen in their fuel system, but it's not really, like ethanol is not what's causing all of these things you hear about, you know, to happen. I will say 100% that a while back, there was a major gas station company that literally bought up some ethanol plants because when they get crap gas that they can't sell, that's what they're dumping into their E85. So you're getting really horrific gas blended in, you know, with, with your ethanol and that's where the problem stem. Now it'll burn fine if you run through it, but yeah, if you store your car and you have this crap in there, the ethanol is gonna evaporate and all the crap's gonna be left behind. When ethanol yeah. evaporates, there's nothing left behind. When you have this gummy sticky, that's residue of what's not ethanol. So as far as fuel lines and stuff goes, PTFE stuff is obviously like the most robust stuff mm -hmm. you can get. Ethanol can affect rubber, but most people associate any black, you know, flexible fuel line to be rubber, they're, they're synthetic. Pretty much every fuel line made today is gonna to be ethanol compliant. PTFE is a better material to use. And that's the, those are the AN lines, correct? Not all AN lines. lines. The, oh, okay. the PTFE is, it, you know, it has the white or clear inner tube oh, okay. uh, type of AN line. If you have a regular AN line in your car, it's not like you're gonna put ethanol in it and it's gonna fail. Like that's, yeah. that's pretty much a myth. But the another thing is people don't realize is with a lot of cars, a lot of cars people modify is, I mean, people have 30 year old cars with the original fuel lines. That's just not a good idea in general, right? So, yeah. I mean, you just can't expect to have a really old fuel system and be like, ah, it's fine. And one of the things ethanol does is a cleaner. So if you have a 20 year old BMW and put a flex fuel system on it, well, whatever craps in your tank is gonna get flushed into your pump and filter. And you know, it is it, that can plug stuff up. It's not that the ethanol plugged it up, it's that it lifted all the crap and you know, those are some of the things if you have an older vehicle and you're gonna start running ethanol, I would plan to change the fuel filters for sure. It can definitely, I mean, it just makes everything clean. So whatever is not clean is gonna come loose and get cleaned wherever it's gonna wind up. That's the only reason I think we really see, like we've definitely seen like some C5 Corvettes that like the fuel bumps just kind of gave up right after, you know, putting E85 in it. And there's nothing like corroded or anything on them. I think they were just 20 year old fuel pumps. And you know, now you're asking more load because you need to flow more fuel. And there's probably some junk in the tank that got washed in there all at the same time. And it's not the boogeyman everyone makes it out to be. There's just some things you wanna you wanna know about. You know, if you put an exhaust on your car, it's gonna be louder. If you're running your car in ethanol, you're gonna run your fuel system harder because you need to flow more fuel through it. You know, it, it is gonna work harder, but it's not this. You know, that was when I started doing this. You know, a long time back, that was like the main concern is it's gonna melt your fuel tank or all this like crazy you know stuff. And it was like you know once we started doing it, we just kind of figured we would have problems and we just didn't. Nowadays, our customers are running millions of miles a month with cars that are converted that were never intended to run E85. The rarity of people calling saying, I'm doing this now, this is a problem or this failed. It's very rare. I mean, even on the OE side, I mean, we have OE products. They're warranting the cars and have no concern about <laughs> running ethanol in. 
So yeah, just there's really nothing much to be concerned about. But if you have a classic car, I would definitely upgrade your fuel lines. And I mean, if you have a Camaro, that could be a classic car. It could be 20 years old. You probably just need new fuel lines in general. Yeah. Don't, uh, you know, slap a turbo on your 98, you know, Camaro and, you know, expect the fuel pump to flow enough fuel if you're gonna run E85. It's kind of a similar load you're gonna put on the system. So yeah. uh, just, you know, just know you're gonna demand more out of it. You should probably put new parts on it. Yeah.